Whoa, 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 welcome, welcome, we are back with Val Monica Exosister. Might just this. Um, and there actually is some new stuff here. Let me know if you see what I added. If you watched the previous one, of course. Um, do you guys know what I added? You guys know what I added? You guys know what I added? Well, you probably noticed stuff I lowered, but did you notice what I added? I added Val Monica Invitair! Or Invit... Invite... Invit... Terry. I don't know, but... It's Elytris walking to her... Bench? Piano? Uh, anyways. Yeah, this card, uh, why didn't no one ever... Why didn't no one tell me? It's, I did look at this card, and I saw... Oh, damn. If I, spe if I use that first effect, I can only use Valmonica monsters. Or use their effects. And I don't want to be locked into just Valmonica. I have Exosisters here. I have Magistus. I don't want to be locked into that. But look at the second effect. And it doesn't lock you. If I control a non-pendulum Valmonica, which just Celtris, or the Lynx, I can take two Valmonica Pendulum Monsters, which is, you know, the Angel and Devil, and then add one to the hand and add one to the extra deck. For what? For Pendulum Summons, one. And two, it searches them. It searches the... Well, again, I would need Celitris out there, and if I have Celitris, but it, let's say she gets negated, and I have Invitair, I can still search out the Pendulum, right? And then, you know, the Afghan <laughs> that card. And, uh, yeah. So... This one, we only have one, but I think it is a pretty crazy one, so that's why we kept it at one. And, um, I, I think we should just get straight to it, right? Don't you agree? I talked about the new card we added in Viter, and let's see how crazy it makes this deck. Obviously, it could be crazier with your guys' version, which has, um, Maxi. Maybe forget all the Magistus stuff, because they are pretty low. I had to lower them a bit. You're gonna say, forget all the Magistus stuff. Just give me, um, just give me Maxi, Ash Blossom. Uh, and others, but yeah, um, so your version is probably better than mine, but let's just see how crazy this can be. I'm just showing off how crazy the combo game is, and it could be crazy, so I'm just gonna make sure to highlight every card and let me know what you guys think, of course, after though. But let's get to that replay! Alrighty, here we are. We're gonna start with the Valmonica Agatho Cocological. And then we're gonna bring out Selechis. Selechis Valmonica. We'll bring out Demon Diamond now. We'll then throw out the other one because we don't need it. And then we're gonna use Selita to bring out Invitair. And the thing with Invitair is, I'll wait until we get to it. We're gonna add Angelo to the hand and Diamond to the extra deck. And then we're gonna Pendulum Summon and bring out four monsters. Okay. So. The thing with inventory, it also opens the gate basically wide open to when we pendulum summon. We can also bring out the freaking angels, bro. We could bring out the pendulum cards themselves. And they actually have interesting effects. They can copy the effects of the gain life points, take life points stuff. So that's pretty cool. Inventory is a definite card. Definite card to have. And look at Diamond right away. Or Demono. Adding, banishing that card to copy its effect to Adversary. And now we have enough. Look, now we already have enough tokens for the Link Summon. But we threw out the trap. So we're going to use Angelo to copy an effect. Oh. We got Domino. Okay. We're going to actually egg Z into Caspital. We're gonna, we use the two Pendulum Monsters for that. Now we're going to search out Sophia. Stella's actually going to bring out Sophia. And Sophia will allow us to draw a card. And this is the exact card we needed. Valmonica Disharmonia. And we're actually going to use the life point gain one. So we can add our... Actually, no. Why would we do that? When instead we can take the trap we threw out and add it to our hands. Look at that. With the Exo Sisters. We, because of the draw from Sophia... Being able to do that. That's pretty good. And now we're going to use our Exorcisters to make Mikailis. Alright. We can't really do Martha. And we can't really do Returnia. So we're just going to search Exorcister Valis, uh, Vadis. 
We can't use Return yet because we need only Exo Sisters out there, and we can't do Martha because we need only Exo Sisters out there. But it's fine, Vadis will work just as well. We're gonna bring out Magnifica though. And then set the traps, man. So we got Zebufada. Through. Now let's see what we're up against. I do not remember, but I do. Ooh, it's Labyrinth. Yeah, Labyrinth, Labyrinth. But that's back row. That's back row, though. Cool clock. Damn. So, uh, we don't want them to activate that trap right away. So we're gonna banish it. Oh! Oh! He baited me! What a bait! He baited the crap out of me! Okay, I'll give you that, Hobgoblin. Him activating Ku Klux to he Alright, okay, okay. We're up against a real duelist here. Magnifica will turn into Makailis. Now we have another banish with her. And you know what? I'm just gonna keep doing it until yeah, yeah. Was that another bait? It could have been. Definitely could have been. I don't want him to activate these now. But whatever. Whatever. We use the trap because. I'm pretty sure Ku Clock only works if you have a fiend. If no, you have to control a labyrinth monster, right? So maybe I should just did that to begin with. <laughs> There's Welcome Labyrinth, and then Ku Clock could just come out. All right, he's leaving the grave, so you know what that means. Vadis will bring out some Exo Sisters. Oh wow, look at that! And it's the two we brought out in the picture: it's Sophia and uh, Irene. And then we brought out Irene and Sophia, so that's kind of cool. And because your Ku Klux left the graveyard, I will turn Sophia into a Sophia. I'm pretty sure that's who she is normally. And then Irene into Jibreen. Oh, crap. I'm pretty sure that's who they are originally. So then who does that make Mikhailis? Uh, I've seen all the extra sisters, right? Oh, Ellis. Yeah, Mikhailis, Ellis. Yeah, makes sense. They kind of rhyme. Um... And then Caspito is Stella. Stella Caspitel. Okay. All our Exo Sisters evolving now. And now Zebufada will copy both effects. Return a monster and pop a trap. We popped a trap trick. And we took his Ku Klux, but it wasn't for long, which is whatever. We got that because we added the third resonance counter on Angelo. And now Makailis is just going to add packs. And then now Makailis, what is this? What is this? She's turning into the Heathen Hollow. To destroy the Ku Klux. And then Celatrus comes out. Celatrus will add the, uh, you know, the field spell. And then we're going to use that to add another Celatrus. And now Ellis will come out. Karma Cannon. At least we were able to flip them back up. But damn, that was... Uh, that's a... Ooh, that's a board breaker. Well, for me. For this deck. Damn. Damn, I picked the wrong one. Well, honestly, if he had three... Even if I didn't pick Trap Trick and I picked to destroy Karma Cannon... He could have just Trap Trick into Karma Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that definitely saved them. I'm really going against a duelist here, huh? Okay. He's playing Labyrinth. You know, it's not the worst deck out there. Could could definitely be worse. So he's using that. Bringing out Big Welcome. Ku Clock is going to come back out. Here comes Ariana. And, oh, and there's actually nothing I can do here. So we're just going to see if we survive, basically. Yeah, that was a great that was a great play he had. That Karma Cannon was a uh, pretty huge. I can't lie, it was pretty huge. He's gonna take my monster. Okay. Alice. Celatris. But well, Celatris does come back. She'll come back. I'm surprised you didn't go for my Jabreen. Why not? I'm gonna use all three. Access code. Why don't you do that before? Okay, okay, okay. Martha's out there now, so... But why need Martha when I could just summon all of them? 
Martha! Selatris! We're about to see it twice, aren't we? Selatris! A second one! And then Dymano. Selatris will add Celta. And Dimino will copy. Is it Dymano or Dim? I'm just gonna say Dymano because it kind of sounds like Domino. And it'll look, whoa, look what we sent back. Look what we sent back. Gonna summon a, a labyrinth, but that big, that, that big labyrinth will not help you. And then look at this, because a card left the graveyard, Martha is transforming into Caspito. And now we're gonna lock the graveyard after he does all his graveyard effects. Damn, that sucks. Damn, that sucks. Neither player can special summon monster from the graveyard, but he's already. Man, it should just be a lingering effect on it. Eh, no. Kinda. It is kinda better to choose when it happens. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, they. Damn. They went from almost having no field to a little bit of a field now. But, anyways, Silatris will turn into the Heathen Hollow again. Pop those cards, baby! And then, of course, come back. Whatever. Whatever, dude. At least you can't activate those traps right away. Okay, Salatris comes back. Damn, he has full back row. But it does not matter, because we're going to game it. You can't special summon monsters from graveyard yet. Add it to hand. And I'm just going to add Ellis, because why not? And then look at this, two Exo Sisters bringing back Magnifica. And then I will remove three Resonance Counters to attack three times. It does not matter. Attack again, my Heathen Hollow. Okay, okay. So. If anyone was thinking in the previous Valmonica Exosister Magistus video, oh, I don't think he really used the Valmonicas that much. He wasn't really using all the cards like that. It was more of an Exosister video. No one really said that, but <laughs> oh, that's just the stuff I think about. But if anyone said that, you can't lie. This video right here fixes all that. We used damn near every Valmonica card, right? Well, the ones in our deck. I'm pretty sure there's like one that's not in it. But either way, we took full advantage of Valmonica in this one. I hope you guys agree, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you did, please let me know, like, comment, and subscribe if you did. It would really mean a lot. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great one. Peace.